This is Richter Posh with another exciting episode of The, the Whole Enchilada. Enchilada. Whoa, what was that? I think it was an echo. After all, I'm still getting used to these um audio controls and whatnot. But let's stop dilly dallying and get into this week's headlines. Ah, love that song. Okay, the Pentagon has just released a 26-page recipe for brownies. As if this nation wasn't overweight enough. I mean, really, somebody do something. But you have to admit, if the Pentagon had to make a 26-page story for brownies, they must have pretty good taste. Or some magical way of burning calories instantly. Moving on, the Associated Press says today that Greek officials, and I quote, say a horde of frogs has forced the closure of a key northern highway for two hours, unquote. Now, it's bad enough if your country's deeply in debt, but to have a major highway overridden by frogs, yeah, that's pretty much more than just a bad hair day. In fact, I remember reading a book about this once. First was the plague of frogs, then came the plague of gnats, the plague of flies, a plague against livestock, a plague of festering boils, a plague of hail, a plague of locusts, a plague of darkness, and eventually the death of every firstborn. Oh, oh wait, that's ancient Egypt, not Greece. My mistake. Ooh, look at this story. An 87-year-old Texas man can, quote, pole vault, play baseball, and even run a 100-meter dash. He is competing in the Senior Olympics and making records. Unquote. Just goes to show you, you're never too old to pole vault. And just think about all the good old people have done for this world. Like Bob Barker, hosting The Price is Right. Or Bernie Madoff and his famous $50 billion Ponzi scheme. Which reminds me of another subject. Why would you trust your money to a guy named Madoff? And for our last story, the Associated Press reports that, quote, Alaska State Troopers are puzzled by a gruesome discovery after someone leaves 26 decapitated chickens arranged in a circle at an Alaska coop. Now, I have a theory. Call me crazy, but it's nevertheless a theory. You see... I think that Oprah and her good friend John Lennon are conspiring against the Alaskan KFC Corporation. What's that? KFC isn't from Alaska? Oh. Okay, never mind then. Well, that does it for the news. Let's go on to my guest and good friend, Ryan Bargerstock, who is on the telephone now, here to talk with us about enchiladas. Oh, and remember, you can always check out Ryan Bargerstock's channel on YouTube, yeah, which is called, uh, let me see here, uh, Naruto123456789121. Thank you. Please, check it out. Uh, I haven't seen his, uh, films myself, but I'm sure they're quite good. So tell me, Ryan, what do you think of the enchilada? They can climb up poles. Uh, I'm sorry, Ryan. It sounded to me like you just said that enchiladas could climb up poles. I've already told you that enchiladas are inanimate objects. They do not move. They could still go up the chains and go up poles. Oh, I have an incoming call from my colleague. His name is Iman. Um, Ryan, you don't mind if I put, you know, Iman on the phone with you too. So, um, Iman, why don't you tell me about the enchilada? I also heard that if you get the number two from Taco Bell, 
the enchilada supreme, he'll have a large number two after that. <laughs> Iman, as humorous as that is, that is disgusting. This is not something I want to put on my talk show. Do you hear? <sighs> oh, Ryan, it looks like I'm going to have to let you go. But is there anything else you want to tell me before that? Um, yeah, I like Cheez-Its. Especially when they're burnt. Okay. Good to know. Bye, Ryan. All right. Back to Iman. Uh, what the name of this show is again? Is it to catch a predator? Iman, you're on a talk show and you don't even know what it's called? <sighs> it's called The Whole Enchilada with Richter Posh. You know what? I'm going to have to cut you off. Let's go to another guest. Um, Phil, are you there? Yes, Phil, tell me, what do you think of enchiladas? They're tasty. It's for his love show. You have a web show? It's a talk show, not a web show. There's a difference. Alright, you know what? No more guests for today. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Sometimes I just can't seem to find good guests. I don't know if it's me or if it's... Hey, wait, what's that? Oh no, the audio controls are hacking over again. <gasps> I sound worse than Justin Bieber. Here, let me see if I can try to fix it. Uh... Is that supposed to happen? Twee wee woo Oh, hi. I'm Richter Posh. Oh no, I'm too slow. I think I broke it. Whoa, okay, I guess we're back to normal. Now for the weather. <laughs> According to my good friend George Carlin, the weather forecast for tonight is dark. Good night.